What are you doing? I, I had it like stacked nicely. I can never get things lined up right. <laughs> it's like the mirror thing. It's it's backwards. Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 110. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome. If you're new here, say hi down below. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics and every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. What? My cheekies and my lips, like, got a little bit of sun today. <laughs> They're a little, a little pinkish. So you are at our nephew's birthday party. I cannot I can't believe he's 13. Believe that we have a teenage nephew yeah. at this point. And my brother decided, you know, we're still kind of in some wonky times. And the easiest thing to like have a big celebration but be at home was to rent a giant water slide. Only your brother. And it was so much fun. I did not think that I would love it as much as I did because you have to climb up it every right. single time. And it's like almost 40 feet tall. Thank you, Keto. Thank you, Bronson, <laughs> for us like continuing to work out. But I was outlasting the kids. That's Instead awesome. of past birthday parties where I just sat in a chair and couldn't keep up, man, I was down that slide. And so was my mom. That's the best part. Yeah. When you have a 71 year old woman who used to be morbidly obese, is able to climb, climb up, up the an water inflatable slide. water slide. Not just a water slide, but an inflatable water. It's one thing when you go to a water park and you gotta climb the steps, which that's hard enough. Yeah, right? but this water but the slide- inflatable in there, shaking back and it's forth. It's fighting you. Yeah. It's trying to knock you down. Let's talk about our sponsor. We yes. have a sponsor for today's Keto on the Couch, and Perfect it is keto. obviously, Perfect Keto, if you don't know what Perfect Keto is, they have a bunch of different nutrition products. They have collagen and they have um, MCT oil powder and MCT oil and they have glucose capsules. They do have ketones, they call it their base, which are uh, really good if you need to have a little bit of energy, a little bit more cognitive function, but just remember that ketones are not going to help you lose any more weight, so don't take it for that purpose. But they have a brand new product that is launching Today. Today. Okay. And unfortunately, ours did not come in. We should have them later on in the week, so we will have a separate review video for it. But because of that, we're able to offer you a little bit special deal. So what is deals. launching today is NOLA bars. NOLA? Yeah, so like granola bars, and there are two different flavors. They have peanut butter and they have chocolate chip, and the price on them is $36.99 per box. However, for the launch, okay, if you buy, and you gotta use the link down below to this, and again, we're gonna be able to give it to you for two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, if you buy two boxes, you're gonna get 20% off. If you buy three boxes, you're gonna get 25% off. And if you buy four boxes or more, you will get 30% off. I am really excited to try them and I, I tend to like them already because of the fact that we have a little kid in Coastal Kids. Well, not so little anymore, but her name is Nola yep. and she's like the greatest kid, right? <laughs> so it's just like, it's it's like if you had a, a, a box called Rachel right? and you happen to know a Rachel you liked, but I was like, that's so cute. Yeah, I've been, I'm really, really excited about these because I've always loved granola bars. And again, so the link for them is down below. Use that link to get the special deal. And then also if you need other products, we do have coupons. Uh, a coupon code for that. And again, Perfect Keto is a huge sponsor and supporter of this channel. So we Thanks, do appreciate guys. you guys supporting the sponsors who support Two Crazy Ketos. These sponsors help us to be able to get new cameras and run our website and, and be able to spend more time out on the road meeting you guys, which brings me to- Have you packed your bags? I have not. I have not yet even found a place to stay on our way up. Oh, I don't it's, like how this is going. So. Uh, for those of you who are new, we're hitting the road this coming Friday. This is the longest RV trip that we're like going that, to do. I don't even like that terminology. What? Hitting, the, hitting road. the road. That doesn't sound good. We're hitting the road. We are taking our RV from South Florida and we are headed up to upstate New York. Well, I wouldn't say upstate. Upstate New York to me is like beyond Albany, right? Up okay. in the Buffalo area. 
We're heading to the lower upstate New York. We're heading to the Catskill Mountains. The middle state New York. The middle state. Well, it's not even. It's about an, about an hour and a half, two hours outside of New York City. But I'm super excited. We're going to go visit my mom. She has no idea we're coming. So, Terry, if you're watching Surprise. this, make sure you're not watching it with her around. My sister knows, yeah. but my mother does not. We're, we're really excited to be surprising her. She's 81 years old. And I didn't even think about it until this morning that it's just, it's going to be just a week or two before Mother's Day. So it's like surprise and a good Mother's Day present This is for definitely like the Mother's Day gift that you want, especially as the kids go, get older. That time with your kids, you know, is so tender. Even just today, like hanging out with my mom and my brother and like just all the family and just having my brother and me in the same spot, like had my mom, you know, crying a little bit. Right. Just like this is really special because everybody does. You know, you have their, your life. Mm -hmm. And you have your own families and stuff like that. So it's not when everybody can get back underneath one roof, it really is pretty precious. Yeah. The plan right now is to stop somewhere between the South Carolina and North Carolina border. So if you are in that area, make sure that you are following us over on Instagram and on Facebook. And we're going to kind of once we nail down where we're going to stop, we're going to kind of put up a post over on our Facebook group and, uh, We'd like to meet some people. Well, we're planning on pulling in somewhere around four or five o'clock that day. And uh, maybe we can just get together for some quick coffee or something like that. I love that idea, Joe. Yeah. But I do not like flying by the seat of my pants. He's the, like, it'll be fine. The and problem like, is it? finding some place like where we could bring some people in. So we can go the Harvest Host route. Okay. Which is like... We get to stay there for free, but no electricity. We got to bring our generator, which I'm fine with, but I don't want to tow a whole bunch of water because that's like more weight on us. Um, and the only places that I can find that are harvest hosts, like on the way up, they're like wineries and uh, I found a distillery. I don't know if we necessarily want to stop a distillery. <laughs> can we, we, we can make some moonshine. That would be awesome. What a keto meetup that, <laughs> that would be. That would be a great keto meetup. So yeah, so we can go that way. Or what I'm trying to find right now is a campground that maybe is close to someplace where we can just kind of meet a couple of people or whatever like that. I would love that. You know, but again, you're, you're living in COVID time, so you're trying to find someplace. Yeah. And I don't know what it's like in that area. Like, how are the restrictions and that kind of stuff? It so. adds another Joe layer of uncertainty for me, though. I'm sorry. I'm a planner. And then Saturday, we're planning on stopping somewhere in like the Pennsylvania area so i am super excited about that excited about that one i don't know where we're gonna stop but this is kind of like hey of course we're gonna see how it goes like some people were asking me like when are you gonna be back who knows like the plan is pull in sometime on sunday don't know what time uh sunday monday tuesday probably leave wednesday morning and that would be wednesday thursday come home friday but maybe we won't get home till saturday maybe we won't get home till sunday how many that's people the pleasure of having an rv how many people would that drive you nuts? <laughs> Leave in the comments down below. How many people are like me, planner? Like, just tell me what we're doing today. And how many people are like, Joe, let's go where the wind takes us. Okay, but here's the thing. One of your favorite RV YouTubers. Yes. Keep your daydream. Mm -hmm. They never make a reservation. I know. They travel the entire country the whole summer. Mm -hmm. Never have a reservation. It's we're gonna go where we're gonna go and we're gonna pull in and we may have a spot and we may not have a spot. You should check my socks when we watch one of their episodes because they're sweaty. I get sweaty, <laughs> worrying for them. And that's the thing. They're not gonna have some place to sleep that night. But that's the thing, we really wanna do national parks eventually and a lot of the national parks are like first come first serve. Like there is no reservation. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Like I wanna do like Ocala National Forest right here in Florida and most of the spots are first come first serve. When you see some of the YouTubers are, are visiting those parks and it's literally like you're standing in a parking space like trying to be like, are you done with this Are campground? you leaving yet? Are you leaving? How am I gonna do that? Mm -hmm. How am I going to do that? There's no way that, I, that is so opposite of my personality. I'd be like, no, 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 don't rush, don't rush. So, and then when we come back, we're home for six days and then we're heading down to the Keys. Yes. Right, to do another meetup. I do have a small piece of housekeeping today. Uh -oh. And I hate having to do this. What happened? But something has come up on our Facebook group again and we just have to address this. Okay. We wanna add, one more rule. So we're not selling anything in our Facebook group. It's a place for people to just come and meet and have a good time yeah. and encourage each other. So please 
don't it's not a garage sale place there's plenty of places i highly there's recommend offer offer up, up yes I highly, and again this is we not use a mean i use offer up i just put a new processor in my computer that i bought off of ebay and i sold the old processor i went from an eight core to a 16 core and i sold the old processor for almost as much as i paid for the new one yeah so like offer up is a great thing but we want to just kind of keep our facebook group kind of free and clear of that now, if you have keto products yeah. that you maybe bought and you're not a big fan of, you just want to give feel away. Feel free to put that up on our Facebook group that, hey, does anybody want this? You know, hey, I'll send it to you if you just pay for the shipping. I'm good with that. Yeah. But we're not selling products. If it's like or sealed. Whether it's keto or not keto. Yeah. Right? It should be sealed, though. It should be sealed. Not like I ate half of this perfect keto bar. Yeah. And no. I'm not, I'm done with it. So, like, just staple up the wrapper. But speaking of products, yes. we're going to do a giveaway in today's Keto on the Couch. We'll give away. So I love it. What do I have here? Oh, I don't even have the right one here. We're what are you looking something. for? Well, oh, here we go. So we're going to have three winners. All right. And we're going to give away two packets of key lime to each winner. But we're also going to give you two packets of apple pie. Right? Yes. And then why not? All these are limited edition flavors. We're gonna throw in two packages of peaches and cream. Peaches and cream. So three winners, six servings of keto chow, all new flavors. Uh, I don't even think they have any more apple pie. So I'm pretty sure they're out of apple pie. Can I say peaches something? Peaches and cream, and then this one makes a great ice cream. It's a great ice cream, and also adding, um, using coconut oil mm -hmm. for the, the fat content makes it nice and tropical. Yes. And this is like, we're getting into the season of the tropical drinks. The orange cream with coconut oil is also mm -hmm. a delicious frosty beverage. Like I, I love it with that. So here's Yum. what you need to do to win. You're going to make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You're gonna hit the little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. You're going to um, hit the like button on this video. And then finally, you're gonna leave a comment down below. Now, if you are currently watching us on the live chat, mm -hmm. which is our premiere, which we do every Monday at 10 a.m. It's like my favorite part um, of Monday. Make sure you hit that bell button right now. If you have not, if you're not subscribed, go right now. Stop, pause, pause. the video. We'll wait. Go hit the subscribe button. It's one of the few things in life that are free. I love it that. It is completely free to subscribe to Two Crazy Ketos. And then you want to hit that little bell button. And what that bell button does is it's going to tell you when these two crazy people go live, which sometimes we just spontaneously decide to go Combust. live. It's going to alert you on your phone, alert you on your computer. Hey, those two idiots, they're live right they're now. Go see again. how many times Rachel's going to say balls. Balls. Right? So uh, make sure you go do that. Now, so you can't put it in the chat. You have to go down to the comment section on this video and leave a comment. And then next week's Keto on the Couch, we will pick the winner because we will be filming next week's Keto on the Couch from the road. From the road. From the road. Yeah, we're going to have to do it from the road because we don't usually do it on Sunday because I got to edit it. And we will be on the road on the day that we'll we normally film it. We'll pull over first. Yes, we we'll will pull definitely over. pull over. Yeah. Yeah. I'm no excited. There. But I'm really excited about that. I'm excited about this. And also, uh, if you do like Keto Child, this week's Flavor of the Week is natural strawberry, okay. which is the one that is not sweetened with, sweetened with sucrose. It is sweetened with monk fruit extract. It's so, a good thing to try if you've been wanting to have that alternative and yeah. you're like, hey, I want to sweeten things with the monk fruit. Try it. Yeah. See what you think. So that's we this week's flavor of the week. And if you use the link down below, you will get 10% off of your entire order, not just the flavor of the week. And then also if you're interested in the Chow Club box, which I'm sorry that you've missed the May box. If you, I'm telling you, you're going to be upset, but, but May you is know, coming. May box is coming. I can't wait for that unboxing, but I'm really excited about that. But that that is all of my housekeeping. Okay. Now we are in the middle of week three of the No Joke Challenge. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Um, I'm finally starting to feel like some of the, like the shaping coming differently. I was on the field today and I'm like, I didn't feel my gut hanging over my <laughs> I pants. saw my toes. Yeah, you know, it's just, 
here's the thing. Like, you know, all of these, I'm not buying new clothes. It's like, well, you are not, not buying new clothes, Joe. So like for a little while I was sucking back into those 32s. Yeah. And now they're starting to, I don't have to suck to get into them. Like Aww. they're not loose, but I'm not having to suck to get back Joe, into them. Joe, you don't them. suck anymore. I don't suck anymore. Good job not sucking yeah. this week. But I'm feeling good. I feel like there's some, finally some movement going. I'm definitely feeling stronger. I'm enjoying the food. Because yes. we're having different foods. I did not realize how much I truly missed variety, but I f have felt super special trying all of these foods, mm -hmm. right? Like even when we were doing, you know, the canned chicken, it had been a while since we had had the canned chicken like pizza. Yeah. And it was like, wow, it's been a minute since we've had this. Did you notice something different about that canned chicken pizza? No. It was done completely on the Blackstone. Is that why the shape of it was like? It was weird. It was a you trapezoid. You should me trying to flip it because I I just I did two cans of chicken with a bunch of Parmesan cheese and a couple of eggs, right? And That's I mixed good. it all up, and then I rolled it out, and it was the size of a cookie sheet. I'm like, okay, but see, here's the thing: and to do it, you gotta you gotta like put it in the oven and bring your oven up to like 500 degrees, and now you're heating up the house, and it was like over 90 degrees yesterday, and I'm like, I don't want to do that. What am I gonna do? Let me try this on the Blackstone. Make it like a skillet pizza. So it totally I worked. Bring it out there. I had on parchment paper. I put the. I literally put the parchment paper on the Blackstone because it's not gonna burn because it's parchment paper. Oh, okay. Right. And and again, it's the Blackstone. How do they do that? And so how does that Everything work? was going great, and then I'm like, now I gotta flip this thing. How am I gonna flip this thing? <laughs> well, did you get like the the giant pizza like spatula? You need I don't one of those. Have one of those. One of the, you need one actually. Of those, now that I remember, I do have one of those. things. You need one of those brick oven shovels. I just realized I have one of those things. It's a little too late though. Oh, I have one. We already in the ate it. I know, but yeah. So next I, time, we put it on the blackstone. After a little while, I flipped it over. Then we put like all of the you know the cheese and everything on there and just kind of let it heat from the bottom up and it was delicious it was completely delicious except for we were out of pepperoni oh uh, well it that was okay because mm -hmm. i loved the cheese on it sometimes you just want to like a cheese pizza yep. i just like that and then the fact that you have that the chicken flavor it was really great so you feel like you've got a meat on the pizza you know yeah. but now that you've done it on the blackstone now i know that that's how it was cooked that's gonna be like summer pizzas. Cause yeah. yeah, you usually avoid making pizzas during the summer months because it gets so hot here. But you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking a little pesto instead of the tomato sauce and maybe some shrimpies Ooh. on top of that pizza yeah. would be really, really good. Yeah, we do most of our cooking outside, especially during the summer, because number one, I like cooking outside. We have the Blackstone, we have our brand new smoker on its way. And uh, the other thing is no cleanup. Like Blackstone is super easy. You go out there, you cook, you take the scraper, you push it down. Hey, I'm done, right? There's no pans. There's no heating up the house. All of our dirty dishes are just the dishes. And all I think Caleb appreciates that. Oh yeah, he does. And all of the kitchen scraps just go to the chickens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who are waiting there like, what you got for me? Now let us know down in the comment section if you're enjoying the No Joke Challenge, working out with Bronson. Don't forget Wednesday night, yes. 6 p.m. We'll be doing a live stream with Bronson talking about like what's going on, answering any questions. If you missed last week, go back and watch it. Bronson's yes. mom was on. That was so awesome. What an incredible interview. And I thought it was really cool for her to talk about osteoporosis. We don't talk about that enough although it is in the back of every person's mind. Mm -hmm. At a certain point, you're like osteoporosis, like it's right. a thing. So my mom was like super dialed into that because she's like, yeah, it's a concern. Right. All of the doctors start, you know, thinking about it. And I loved how the strength training actually reversed her osteoporosis right. instead of that mentality that I always had, which is, okay, if you start to show signs of osteoporosis, you need to be less active because you're fragile now and you can't like take a chance that you're going to break yourself. Right. So I loved kind of like, you know, cutting that myth in half. I'm enjoying seeing everybody putting up their progress. I'm also enjoying seeing all of the pictures Beautiful. of everybody's food for our second challenge that's happening this month, which is the chopped challenge. Yeah. Where every day we're having something different. And again, not mandatory. It's just kind of a fun thing to throw in there. Like, hey, have you ever tried cooking with this food? Hey, maybe you haven't had this in a while. Yeah. Like we're tomorrow, because we're filming this on Saturday, tomorrow 
is ribs day. Well, we haven't had ribs in like in a, a little minute. while, right? Yeah. So I'm excited. Firing up that smoker, gonna throw some baby back ribs on there. Let us know down in the comment section because there are lots of kinds of pork ribs, right? Yeah. Do you like baby back ribs? Do you like spare ribs? Do you like country ribs? What is your favorite? Me, I like baby back ribs. You're more of a spare ribs person. I am more of a spare ribs person, but that's okay. I'm looking forward to these as well. And every day has been special. Like today is hot dog day. Mm -hmm. And I love- Costco hot dogs. I love me some hot dogs. Yeah. You know, just because it's kind of a more, you know, inexpensive, you know, cut of meat or an inexpensive thing. I am all about hot dogs. Like yeah. I love them. We split them right down the middle, like lengthwise and cook them on the, the Blackstone. Blackstone. They get like the perfect greasiness and mm -hmm. and like, and then it's all about the toppings. You wanna elevate that a little bit though? You take the hot dog, you split it down the middle. First you cook it round side down. Yep. Then you're gonna flip it over with the cut side across the grill, get a nice little crunch on there. Then you're gonna flip it over one more time, take a piece of cheddar cheese, slice it in half, put it down the middle, Put a dome on there, let that melt for a little bit, and now you have a cheese dog. Well, Delicious. Well, I actually, like the recipe that I, I shared for today was the our Swiss cheese, like cheese sauce uh -huh. on top of it because he's the Swiss cheese guy. Love he Swiss loves cheese. Swiss cheese. So, yeah. What's your favorite cheese? Let us know down in yeah. the comment section. I'm not as big of a Swiss cheese person, but he loves Swiss cheese. So I really have enjoyed the chop challenge. Can we have a little hint for next month's challenge? I know it's early, but we're more than halfway through and people want to get ready. What's next month's challenge? Do you want me to tell you? Just a little hint. Hashtag May in motion, May stay in motions. motion. Oh, I like that. May in motion, stay in motion. That's pretty good because we're getting there and we're also gonna have a get back into the ketosis challenge with Keto Coach come the middle of the month. So this is going to be perfect. I'm excited. You ready to do some comments? Yeah, but I will say that for the May challenge, mm -hmm. it's there's going to be some unique challenges to it. Not too hard though. Not right? too hard. Is, is the May challenge going to be as difficult as the No Joke challenge, or is it going to? Are we taking it easy on people? Oh no, it's it's going to be creativity. It's going to need your creativity. Bring your creativity. I want to see like what we brought to the table for like the chop challenge. Like you're going to have to get creative I like if you that. want to get all of these challenges in. Sounds good. Let's take a quick commercial break. We'll come back with our comments. It is six o'clock, and okay. I have not had a cup of coffee yet today. No, I was so, you're lying. No, I'm telling you the truth. I was so excited to get to Jonathan's birthday party that I didn't even make a pot of coffee. I got my exercises in this morning and then I wanted to get right to the party. I usually get up in the morning. So Rachel gets up 5 a.m., heads out the door for her exercises. I usually wake up right around there. And what I like to do is I like to have a pot of coffee ready to go when she walks in the door. Romantic. Not today was not getting up. <laughs> she came back. Actually, I think you woke me up on your way out the door at I like did. six and said, what time do you have to leave? Cause I had games today. And I'm like, gotta leave here at like 8.30. And uh, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm not making coffee. We, I, I stayed in that bed as long as possible. Well, and we had a laundry thing, so. That was Anthony's stuff. Oh, well, that's good, whew, just his. <laughs> um, but how is it that you can do so much laundry and mm -hmm. then the one outfit you need somehow does not get done? Like if you have a uniform shirt for work, or like, yeah, they have officiating outfits, or like you need your bathing suit. And right. for some reason, it's at the bottom of the hamper, so I was like, I have done so much laundry that I'm like, there's no way that I have something important I haven't washed. And then I kind of, I see those zebra stripes at the bottom of the hamper and I'm like, dang it, how did I miss this? So I just wanted to make sure that he knew like, you may be wearing a wet uniform. You're always looking out for me. But at least it'll be a clean one. Anthony appreciated it. That's good. So, uh, Speaking of coffee, I cannot, I'm so disappointed. If you haven't seen, we reviewed that Coke with coffee. Never found it again. I cannot find it. I want. I, I've been I mean, everywhere. Like, again, not I've been Johnny like, Cash. not overly like, hey, a ton of them a day, but it's nice every other day or so. Like grabbing one of those things, it's like a nice well, little flavor kind of treat for well, myself. We didn't find a million of them to start with. No, no, very difficult. You can find the sugar ones every. What else is new, right? You can yeah. find the sugar They're everywhere. everywhere. You go but not the Coke Zero ones, not the the sugar-free ones, but the, I love those things. The best thing was like, I go to reach in to get one and you're like, 
is that a vanilla? Like if it's a vanilla, like please go ahead, ha- have an extra one of those. But if it's the if it's the dark blend, you better save me that. <laughs> It was like, I seem to remember saying you can very, have the dark one. We're very protective of the dark blend yeah. because that one has like such a good yeah, taste. Yeah, the vanilla one is okay. But I mean, if you haven't seen that video, go, go check it out. The vanilla one's okay. Hint of coffee. But the coffee one, the dark coffee one, that's that's the one that's like nips. The dark blend one will will become like an issue for, for a relationship. Let's get into some comments. So uh, if you're new to our channel, this is a segment because Keto on the Couch is all about our subscribers where we're going to celebrate our subscribers. Yes. And first, we're going to talk about our Keto College Adjunct Professor of the Week. And this week's is Sherry. Hey, Sherry. With this nice little picture, which I oh. love this. She said, I love this. A great visual representation of finding the healthier trim fit within. Wow. Keep going. You've got this. And it says proof that you can start over. Because look at the tree oh. that is spawning out of or growing out of the old destroyed tray. Oh my gosh, like that makes me want to tear up. Like, yes, that is, you know, we talk about like the phoenix, Mm -hmm. you know, kind of just rising from the ashes of what was, but it's like, well, that's a mythology thing. You know, that's not a real story, like a true story of like pulling yourself up out of the ashes, which I feel like a lot of us have, you know, truly feel like that on the inside that, you know, my, my, former pre-keto life, it really did feel like ashes. Right. Like, and now, you know, we've pulled ourselves out of that, but that tree is awesome. just like right? totally showing that. My favorite part of the week, even though it's like a stressful part, but it's still my favorite part, is Friday night when I go through our Facebook group from the last week and find all of the like jump out at me comments yes. and pictures like that and success stories. Yeah. It makes my week. And because we do love to celebrate you guys. And that's why if you're new to our channel, we ask you, please head over, join our Facebook family group and make sure you sign up for it and share your story because your story is going to impact somebody. It's going to make somebody look at and go, hey, I'm not alone. And it doesn't mean like you're at the end of your journey. You could be a week into this and had something positive happen. Go share that because there's somebody who's a day into it and they're struggling right now. And when you say, hey, you know what? I made it for a week. They're like, okay, I can do this. But you need to tell them that it's possible. Well, it's exactly like that that tree picture. Because right. before, if they're just starting out, they're like, is this actually attainable? I know what I've heard, right. but I don't know if it's mythology. Like, can we lose weight? Can we get healthier? Can we reverse situations? And like, when they see your story, they're like, yes, now I know an actual person, not a friend of a friend of a friend, but right. an actual person that's posting their results. Yep. Okay, so now we have our subscriber of the week. We actually have a couple of them. So the first one is gonna be from Tracy. Hey, Tracy. She said, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this group. This is what keto has done for me. Wow, look at that face. Look at that beautiful face of confidence. Look at that, June 2020, away before I even thought about getting healthy. Wow. This picture, April 8th, You go, girl. You look so beautiful, but like your face is just shining. That yeah. is that confident face that I absolutely love. You look incredible. And thank you for being a part of our group. Yeah. Our uh, next one is from Laylee. Hey, Laylee. Said 14 months apart, just over nine months on my keto journey. I can't say exactly how much weight I've lost since my scale is in storage, but on March 1st, I was 52 pounds wow. down. Laylee. Oh my gosh. And look at, talk about like adjunct professor of the week in that picture. Good things take time. Yeah. Amen. It really does. But look at you. Like that is incredible. Yeah. Incredible. So congratulations. Wow. And again, please share your story if you haven't done so. We're not looking for it for content. We're no. looking for it for inspiration. And as much as you so think that this is inspiring and encouraging other people, it encourages us. It keeps us going. It keeps us motivated. It's why we do what we do. It so is. please keep sharing those stories because we love to see them. Yeah. And if you're not a member of our Facebook group and you don't want to say baby, be on Facebook. Yeah. Send your story to stories at twocrazyketos.com. And we'll share it. Okay. Let's get into the comments. So the first one is from Bridget. Hey, Bridget. She says, today is the 15th and I'm doing good now not eating cheats. This is mostly because 
because I see the group accountability check-ins. Thank you, everyone. That is so awesome. Again, this is why we have our Facebook group. Yes, right? because we need other people. That really is a motivator for me. I know at the end of the week that I'm accountable to you guys and I need to come and say like, okay, this is what I did. Right. And I don't want to come with a bad report. Right. I want you to know that like I did it. Like we we're doing this at a family and I, I didn't let you down. Like I'm doing my part to, to stay engaged and to like to do all of the challenges and to continue, you know, being healthy. Right. So you guys keep me motivated and accountable. And I love that. Yeah. Everybody's sharing their wins and accountability. Like I love it so much. Okay. Next one is from Julie. Hey, Julie. Said Rachel's voice. Wow. You need to sing more. Aww. <laughs> well, every time I'm cleaning the house. It's like there's a lot of music going on. You really in the house. do have a great voice. Thanks. I love it when you sing. I like your singing voice. You nobody likes my singing voice. I love it. When we're in church and he's singing, like I, I'm always like kind of leaning in and he's like Stop You're leaning it. in to say like shh. shh. No, God I'm not. That's a joyful noise, but make it like really low so that nobody else it's hears so it. It's so sweet. I love it. Okay, next one is from Life Station Express. It says yes for the charity diabetes. That's a good one. I like that one. I do too. So if you if you don't know what we're talking about, so our plan is sometime this summer, and we're gonna need some help with this. We're gonna need some help from organizing this. We're planning on doing some kind of like long stream. I don't know how many, I don't, everybody wants 24 hours. I do not think I can handle a 24 hour stream. I think that I- I'm thinking maybe starting off with like a six hour stream and then moving on silly. beyond that, right? I don't know if you want me for 24 hours, yeah. that's a lot. So maybe like a six hour stream or something like that. Maybe we'll try to find some guests or something like that. Yeah. We'll come on and just like, we're gonna do it for charity. We're gonna stream for six hours and then like basically have people donate money through um, like maybe the super chat or through a PayPal or something, like, set up some kind of charity. But we're looking for a charity that raises awareness for keto or that yeah. would benefit from keto. For example, diabetes, right? Or Alzheimer's, like your grandmother passed away yeah. from Alzheimer's. My father passed away from brain cancer. So something like that. Uh, next one is from Keep Going. Says, how about epilepsy awareness for the charity? It's there good really one. isn't much awareness or support for this illness. Not much support for many neurological illnesses, but I thought epilepsy would be highly applicable. Thank you for the consideration. I think that's another great one, right? I think that's fantastic. Yeah. So let us know down in the comment section if you'd be interested in seeing us do this stream, if you'd be interested in supporting us, maybe even helping us run it. And also give us some other ideas so that we can pick a charity. And then we'll probably present it over to our Patreons and let them help us decide a little bit. Yeah. Okay, next one is from Sky Blue. Said, trying to understand the one-to-one -one ratio and what my macros would be. I can't seem to find the macro calculator in your website. Are there any suggestions? Thanks. I love you guys. I am down almost 15 pounds Way since starting. Go. And my husband joined me when I showed him your journey video. Aww. Thank you so much. Thanks okay, for being here, guys. Let me show you. Okay, what you're going to do, you're going to go over to our website. Okay, so if you go onto our website and you go right up here, we have a few things. You go to Keto 101 and there's a thing right here that says how to start keto. Then monthly motivations, by the way, are different, like whatever our challenges are. And then also for those of you who are interested, we have this, our blog. So if you click on this and we have some new things coming in here, here's some different articles that Rachel writes. Right now we have the April No Joke Challenge and we have some other ones that are gonna be coming up. But if you go back up here and you go to your macro calculator is right here. And when you click on macro calculator, what you're gonna do is, it's very simple. This one is very simple. You're gonna choose male or female. So we're gonna go by you, Rachel. So All you're right. a female, right? I am. So what is your current weight? 150 pounds. 150 pounds, okay? Then what is your goal weight? Man, I, I let's see. What say, is your dream goal weight? Let's say my dream weight is 150. 43 pounds. 143 pounds. Pull it right out of So now you have book. to answer a question. Do you know your body fat percentage? I'm gonna say no, because most people don't. Now, if you don't know your body fat percentage, a couple things you can do. You can head on over to Google and just Google search like pictures of body fat percentage. So, and it kind of gives you an idea. I don't like that because let's face it, we all lie to ourselves. Well, and I th I don't have a good picture of myself. Right. <laughs> like I, I feel like I don't see myself accurately. Right. 
So the better way to do it is get yourself a DEXA scan or an in-body scan or something like that, or find somebody who's really good with like the calipers where they do like the pinch thing. The best thing to do if you don't know accurately what your body fat is, is we're gonna go by goal weight. So we're gonna go back over to that, and what we're gonna do is you're gonna say, I don't know my body fat percentage. Now you're gonna choose your carb limit. We highly recommend you leave it at 20 total carbs because you're just gonna use it anyway as energy. But let's say you wanna increase it. We're gonna say, you're gonna do, we're not doing net carbs, we never do net carbs, okay? Just increase your total carbs instead yeah. of doing net carbs. It's, it's better that way. So let's say you're gonna do 30 total carbs. So even if you wanna follow net carbs, put that total carb cap, do not exceed 40 total carbs unless it's like maybe a celebration day and you're gonna go to 50, but that should be mostly vegetables. So back over on here, so we're gonna say you wanna do 30 total carbs. So right down here on the bottom, it's gonna tell you, you're gonna eat at least, at least 143 grams of protein per day. Then you're gonna have your fat is 113 grams. You don't have to eat all of that fat and your carbohydrates are 30. Here's the thing is these two numbers, notice what they total. 113 plus 30 equals? 143. 143, so you can play with those numbers. So you can say only have 10 carbohydrates and then add that to your fat yeah. because that's the energy. Now you're gonna look at this and go, I'm eating more food. You are, because we're not counting the protein calories. That's right. So if you look at, if you're eating 100 grams of protein, that's 400 calories that don't really count. Yeah, and especially, you know, you're eating leaner things like grilled chicken breast, mm -hmm. you know, you can, that's gonna fill you up. Right. It's high in protein, but there's not the fat content yeah. there. That's not eating into your fat. Now again, your fat, that's your limit. So if you look back on this, you've got 143 grams of protein. You can go over that, you can go to 200 if you want. Yeah. The fat is 113. We're not gonna exceed that unless you lower the carbohydrates. Don't go too low though. You wanna keep it like at least like 60 grams yeah. of fat. Cause there's some fat soluble vitamins that you wanna make sure that you're unlocking. Yeah. Now just, let's say you do know your body fat percentage. So let's, we're gonna leave it right where it puts it right here. Your body fat percentage is 25%. You're gonna see down here, it lowered your protein because now we're basing it on our body fat, on our lean mass instead of what our ultimate goal weight is. So hopefully that helps you a little bit, but yeah, that's where it is. Just go over to our website. If you do have any questions, ask in the Facebook group or you can even send us a message uh, at twocrazyketos at gmail.com. Next one is from Katie Kensman. Minson. Said, having grown up on a farm, Joe described raising cattle perfectly. Aww. Oh, thank you. And especially since I've never lived on a farm, uh, right? <laughs> good job. I, I research a lot. Said, it makes me laugh now when I think about people eating grains to be healthy. Um, no. That's what we feed cattle to fatten them up. How did it take so long for us to figure it out for humans? It's so true. I mean, I, I also always think of Dr. Barry talking about how much milk that we used to drink growing up because that was supposed to be a desert body good, right? There was like such a huge milk campaign right. by the people selling milk, right, obviously. And you're like, okay, healthiness is attached to milk consumption. Right. But Dr. Barry was like, you know that that is what the, the, the baby cow is drinking to fatten up as fast as possible. Even our own babies, right? They come out and we feed them mother's milk. Yes. Why? Because it, it's got it all of that sugar in there. It's going to get them to develop and to grow. And then we drink it and wonder why are we fat? Like, and it's the same thing with cows. Right, because it's like some of the stuff that we think to you know ourselves, like we're, what are we eating? It's not, to, I don't want to fatten up. Like I'm plenty fattened up and I have attained the, the size, the five, seven and a half that I'm going to be. It's what I'm going to be. So I'm not growing anymore. So I don't want to be growing anymore. Right. And Dr. Barry actually talks about that with the cows and the eating grain in his book. Like lies my doctor told me. And he's like, why? Don't we ever notice this? Also, here's the thing about cows. They eat when they're hungry and they stop eating when, you don't see like obese cows, no. right? 
They because they just eat when they're supposed to eat, they, and they know when to stop. But for some reason, we don't. You know? No. So yeah, it, it is really interesting. Okay, next one is from Janice. Hey, Janice. Janice says, "Do electric bikes pedal for you?" Well, I mean, you can push the like the little throttle button if you want to have like you know a jolt or you want to use it almost like a moped right. type of thing. But it defeats the purpose. But we really are trying to do it. Um, to get exercise, so we do the pedaling ourselves, and I like the fact that you can set it to the like the lowest setting you want, so that it's doing the least amount of help for you. Really, I like to have it where it's it's like on level one, so it's there to just kind of make the going smooth for me and give me that indoor bicycle feeling outdoors. So you if still I'm Mary Poppins it though. I do. I like I'm 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 so happy when I'm riding my bike. There's there's just something magical. Don't you love right who else is out there just loves riding bike? I love the air blowing. I love listening to tunes while I'm doing it. It's just such a nice thing and and you can see stuff because that was always my hard part about you know stationary bikes inside of the house because I want to see stuff. I want to look around and see new stuff, not right. the same stuff. You know, right. I love our home but I like seeing things out in nature and birds playing and water and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so we did get our electric bikes and uh, mine finally came and it turns out that there actually wasn't a problem with the battery. It was the key it has, has to, to key. be in a certain position, whereas Rachel's, the key just locks it in there. And mine, the key has to be in a certain position and in there to actually run. But so we we're excited know. about it. But we just didn't know. Yeah, so, uh, but what it does is I always tell people it's kind of like being on a treadmill. When you get on a treadmill, you're doing the work, yeah, but the walking. treadmill is kind of making it a smoother run. That's what the electric bike does. And it allows you to go further. Like, whereas maybe your legs are getting tired, usually after three or four miles, you're going to be able to accomplish 10 miles with the same amount of energy on your legs. And especially if you've got to go up a hill, you don't have to like get off and walk it. You just give it that little throttle or tell it to assist you a little bit more and go up. So with that being said, though, let's take another commercial break and then we'll come back with our Facebook comments. Okay. It is canned tuna day today in our chop yeah. challenge. Are you looking forward to this? I am not looking for. I know what we're having. But Balls recipe? No, we're not. We're, we're, I, no, I think we're going to do like our tuna croquettes because it's the only yeah. thing I can stomach with They're tuna balls. Fish. They're balls. I'm just... I'm just not a fan of tuna fish. Just I know. not a fan of tuna fish. Childhood memories. It's funny though, Caleb was talking about like canned chicken from our canned chicken day yesterday. And I'm like, what's the difference between canned chicken and canned tuna? Fish and chicken? But other than that, right? I mean, it's still like, it's fish in a can and we have no problem eating that. But we well, all texture. go like, but we all go chicken in a can, something's wrong, not very good. Tuna in a can, completely fine, perfectly normal, right? It's it's the same thing. It's just a different protein. I don't know. I don't. It's just I, how we're raised. Right? I don't have that feeling. I love canned chicken. I know you do, but and a lot of people don't. I know a lot of people don't, but I love chicken salad, and I also really enjoy. Maybe it's because I feel like wow, that was fast, and it still is very flavorful. I love a can of chicken and the kettle and bone. I mean, kettle and fire bone broth. Oh, yeah. Together. Yep. It is like one and done. And there's so much seasoning and flavors. They have like a big flavor variety. Right. And I'm just like, that's one of my favorite go-to lunches. And it makes a big, nice bowl of soup. And sometimes I want soup. <laughs> okay, let's get to the Facebook comments. The first one is from Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Said, Joe and Rachel kept me out of the slammer. Ooh. I got a federal jury summons three weeks ago and I completely deleted the file from my brain. Oh, because we were talking about Anthony with yes. jury duty. Thank goodness I watched the live. Thank you to Crazy Ketos. Well, I'm glad that we can keep you out of jail. Jamie, I'm going to have to share that with Anthony because that is going to bless his heart so much <laughs> that like he was able to remind somebody of that. That's so good. Uh, next one is from Corwin. Hey, Corwin. They say, it's a big day for me today. As I mentioned in the 2KK Thursday Live under my YouTube Alter Ego, Utah Rocket Geek. Today has been exactly one year since my last dose of insulin. My weight loss, my weight has gone down from 337 wow. pounds to 225, and my A1C from 7 to 5.0 as of a week ago. Keto and low carb has really worked for me. Many thanks to my sweetheart, Helen Rogers Craw, 
Shaw and my stepson, Michael, for helping make our home a safe environment for health and nutrition and for joining me in this journey. I couldn't have done it without them. Now here is to prioritizing protein and to getting stronger and building muscle mass. Grateful to have Bronson Dant and all of you in my corner. I love you all. Thank wow. you so much for you sharing that story. You blessed us so much with that. Oh yes. my goodness. Yes. And like, I love the shout out to um, your wife and to your son because it really does help so much when a f when family members support your yes. keto journey and just yep. making it a safe zone like you're talking about, That that's love. Yeah, and if you don't have a support partner, an accountability partner, again, go join the Facebook group. Put in there, I need an accountability yes. partner, and you're gonna be shocked by how many people are gonna jump up and say, I'm here for you. They're there for you. Okay, next one is from James. Hey, James. Said, thanks, Rachel, for the unintentional protein meal prep for the month. It has made my life a little easier Aww. during the week. Let's do it again next month. It's appreciated. Wow, thank you. Well, I actually um, have started kind of taking a poll in our Facebook family group of uh, what are some other proteins that maybe we didn't have this month that we could post in future months. Unfortunately, we need some, to take a break. some people contributed frog legs. Well, that's good. And I was so glad that I said we may use in a future thing. We need to take a break from the, the, the chopped challenge because I miss eating ground beef every day right now. Oh, well you can still add ground beef to your daily allowance. You're just trying to get that one ingredient in too. I know. Okay, next one is from Catherine. Hey, Catherine. She said, I am measuring my net carbs every day. I eat around 25 to 30 net carbs per day. I've been doing this for two weeks, still measuring 0.1 on my keto uh, BM. What am I doing wrong? Thanks. Um, okay, I don't know everything you're doing, but right. I'm gonna give you some things. First of all, let's talk about, usually in the first couple weeks, you have high ketones in your pee, Yes. but not in the blood. And what happens is, you, you get this, the pee strips are great when you first start and then throw them out. Because by week three, week four, a lot of times, they're gonna show white and it doesn't mean anything. What that means is- It's gonna discourage you. Your body is now utilizing them. Whereas before it was just dumping them in the urine, now it's utilizing them because it's a different type of ketone. But I am gonna say this, and again, not knowing what you're eating, mm -hmm. 25 to 30 net carbs per day is a little high. Unless you like, I don't know, how do I say, how do I say this? Like, unless you were like, you know, way obese, like, you know, we weigh 300, 400 pounds, and you know, you were used to eating like copious amount of carbohydrates and, and copious like like six, seven, eight thousand calories a day, it's you're gonna have to get those down. And, you know, when yeah. you when you're weight, when you have that much loose, sometimes the first couple of weeks it's kind of easy. But really you need to get those down. If you're gonna do net carbs, 20 net carbs, no more than like 30 to 40 total carbs. Because the problem is when you're doing that many net carbs, what does the total carb look like? And right. where are they coming from? Are, th are those vegetables or are those eating lots of keto treats and making mug cakes and, and keto breads? Because that is gonna completely throw you off. The total carb cap really helps it because yeah, it, right. it you, you've got, you got both going on. So you're able to have treats because of the net carb protocol, but the total carb cap makes it that you can only have like one right. a day instead yeah. of having a lot of like your food that comes out of a, pa a package. Yeah, and we're not saying don't have any of it, but we're saying you're gonna have to cut some of that down, especially at the very beginning. Get used to whole foods and then use some of that other stuff as a treat. And again, I don't know what you're eating, but those, those are definitely a little high. I would be looking at like 20 net carbs at the cap if you're doing net carbs. Because two, you're wanting to give your body a clear message that we run on fat now. Right. And the more carbohydrates that we kind of keep, especially at that beginning stage, it's it's confusing right. to our body. The body, our body is like, are we fueled by fat or are we fueled by carbohydrates? Right. Which which one is it? Seems like we're trying to seesaw it. So you want to give that clear message to your body, like we're fat fueled now. Yeah, because you have to look at oxidative priority. I mean, and when you, anything you eat, first thing your body gets rid of is alcohol because it's a poison. Then it works on protein, but not for fuel. It's not working on protein for fuel. It's working on protein for amino acids and building muscle and everything else. Then it's gonna go to carbs and glucose. When that's gone, then it goes to fat. And if there's no carbs and there's no glucose and there's no fat, which is pretty much never because we all have fat on our body, then it goes to protein for fuel. This is why the protein calories don't matter. 
But if you want to get to your fat stores, which is where the ketones are coming from, you got to get through all the carbs. So the less carbs you're eating, the quicker your body can get to the fat stores, if that makes sense. Speaking of alcohol though, Bronson Dant, our, our keto coach during this challenge, had such a fascinating video on his YouTube channel about like cutting out alcohol and mm -hmm. what that did for weight loss. Cause like you're saying it deal, you know, our body deals with alcohol first. And right. I thought it was just, it really stops everything. Go check out that video. I'll put it up here. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Wendy. Hey Wendy. She says non-scale victory. When your bra class <laughs> magically moves from the first hook to the last TMI, I think not no Wendy. I think that is exactly right. And I can remember, okay. I'm going to go TMI. I'm going to go one more. Uh oh. Not only. Rachel TMI. <laughs> not only. I had a time, like when we f were, were getting started, I had two extender pieces. The ones you have to get at Walmart that's like just a, like a free floating thing patch that you put in your bra. Right. Because they will not connect at all. Even the lowest setting does not connect the bra. So when I was able to take out, I was like swinging it like this. Like I can close my bra on my own. But yeah, every single time you bring that hook and eye in, you're like, yes. <laughs> now I don't even need them. Next one is from Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Said, hi, all. I am fairly new here, and I would love to know some of your recipes for treats that are a keto option for standard treats. I am a grandma who is known for having monster cookies, Aww. brownies, cinnamon rolls, etc., for the grandkids when they come. I am currently in the first month of my keto journey and realizing how bad these treats are that I am giving to my family. I would love to learn some tips and tricks to make healthy treats for them that don't sabotage their health and keep my reputation for being the best Aww. grandma. My hope is to lead my family by example. Thanks. Jennifer, that is so beautiful. Yeah. So we don't have a lot of recipes for treats. We have a few mug cakes and stuff and a couple of cookies. cookies. But we don't do a whole lot. Uh, we do. My favorite thing that we have is our chocolate toffee cheesecake or chocolate toffee pie. Mm -hmm. We have a few things. If you're Some really looking bombs. for good replacement recipes, like you want cupcakes, and things like that. My suggestion is go over to Keto Connect. Keto Connect yes. has some phenomenal recipes and some of those recipes, like the average person is not going to be able to tell. Like Anthony has made some of them like this tastes like the real thing. Now, as far as your journey, especially if you're a month in, I would try to limit them for yourself. I think I applaud you for getting them to your family and your grandkids because that's what we say all the time. Even some products that we'll try to like, hey, this is awesome for kids and stuff. I'd rather them eat any of this stuff than sugar. But when you're first getting started, try to stay away from the sweets as long as possible because we're trying to get past our sweet tooth. And sometimes early on, that stuff just reminds us of what we used to have. Well, and you know, you being able to be more mobile and to play with the grandkids and to get down on the floor with them and to keep up with them at the park, all of those things, that's sweeter than a cookie. Yeah. Like that is the memories that you're making with them because you're a healthier grandma and you can do more stuff with them. Like my mom going down a water slide today with her 13 year old grandson. Um, that is, that's what's most precious. Right. And you're, you are leading by example and we just really applaud you for that. Yep. Uh, next one is from Bruce. Hey Bruce. Okay, you guys, I was doing my workout this morning and decided I needed to change the name of one of the exercises. The Superman has now become the floundering beach whale. <laughs> All my belly fat gets jammed up against my ribs and the picture in my mind just fits a beach whale. But each time I work out, it gets a little bit easier, gaining strength and actually losing weight. Maybe just because I still have about a hundred pounds to go. We are rocking this challenge. I love that. I am so proud of you. <laughs> and yeah, I look really silly sometimes doing the workout. You won't even let me watch you work out. I, I won't. And like, even the kids are like, let's, you know, work out. And I'm like, let's go for a walk or run after mommy <laughs> works out because I do feel like I, I, I'm very self-conscious and I think that's just like, that's a carryover from my entire life, you know, but yeah, you're doing them and I feel very successful and accomplished just because I can do them. And I do go into the kids rooms, you know, or tell Joe or I'll call my mom. I'll be like, I did it. I did. I did my exercises today just so that they know like it's happening and to check in. And I got to say when, when Caleb says, good job, pat me on the back, gives me a hug, even though I'm sweaty and disgusting. I, I just, I feel so good. I'm proud of you. 
Uh, next one is from Shauna. Hey, Shauna. Shauna said, why is this so true? Your weight may fluctuate. Your worth will not. Wow. Shauna, you nailed it. That is absolutely true. And like, yes, we're doing this challenge. Yes, we're losing weight. We're gaining strength. But day one of April, before you ever like got your leotard on and headed out to start working out, you were precious, you were beautiful, you are important to us. Before you got off the couch, before you've lost your, your first pound, you are precious to God first and foremost, and you are precious to us. So you losing weight or how successful that you are in, in the, the health and weight loss field, that has nothing to do with your worth because you are perfect just where you are. When it, when it comes to worth and preciousness, you are a treasure right now. Okay. We're just going to be healthy and enjoy all of the things that you can do in, in a, in a stronger body, but that has nothing to do with how precious that you are to us or to God. Yeah. Now, before we get to the last one, I do want to ask you to take a quick moment. If you haven't yet done it, head on down below, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell button so that you're notified when we do upload new videos. While you're down there, make sure you're leaving a comment so that you can enter into the giveaway for yeah. the Keto Chow. This is delicious. And also again, Please, if you have anything that you're looking for, uh, make sure you're using the link down below to purchase anything from our sponsors like Ke uh, Perfect Keto or from Keto Chow. Um, these companies really do support our channel and we appreciate you guys supporting the companies that support us. Thanks. Now, let's get to the last comment, which is from Jean. Hey, Jean. Jean said, I am not one for sharing but hopefully this will inspire and motivate somebody. Thank you, Jean. I started low carb a year ago when I went keto and now I'm ketovore mostly. I've lost 118 pounds wow. and my A1C went from 5.6 to 4.7. Wow. My fasting insulin went from 26 to 8.7. Wow. My HOMA IR went from 5.2 to 1.9. Oh my goodness. And my triglyceride slash HDL ratio went from 3.2 to 2.6. You don't have to be perfect, just be consistent. Wow. I'm at my high school weight again at the age of 47. 47. And I feel better now than I was in my early 20s. Oh, <laughs> back to the shadows for me. Oh no, Jean, do not stay in the shadows. Thank you. <laughs> For, for being bold enough to share your journey because guaranteed there's somebody out there that's like, this is this is a problem. These are where my levels are. You don't understand like how high my HDL is. Like you don't understand where my insulin is at. You don't understand like how much weight that I personally have to lose. And when they see somebody that's lost more than a hundred pounds and they share their story, your vulnerability is going to make the difference for somebody who is maybe going to give up and now they won't. Yeah, that does remind me before we do sign off. Um, we've gotten a couple of messages from people like you guys never talk about your cholesterol. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, because it's not that important to us. That's It's not that we're trying to hide anything. It's just not that important to us because we look at everything else. We look at the big picture. Uh, Dr. Barry talks about cholesterol a lot. He's talked about like where his cholesterol is. Cholesterol is something that your body needs. What's more important are those numbers that you just saw from him, right? Where are your triglycerides? What is your triglyceride to HDL ratio? You know, even LDL is, it's not the bad stuff that everybody thinks it is. Where cholesterol that's high matters is when you're eating a lot of carbohydrates and sugar, that's where it matters. But when you're eating a ketogenic lifestyle, it's not as big of a deal of having high cholesterol. We highly recommend you go check out some of Dave Feldman's stuff. I will leave links for his stuff down below and also for some of the different studies he's done. Go check out some of Dr. Barry's videos. Go check out some of Dr. Cywis' videos. They're all experts, which we are not medical professionals or any nurses or doctors or anything like that. We've just been doing this for three years. We've had some moderate success and we enjoy talking about it and inspiring people. But the, in the end, Cholesterol is not that important because it's one number in the grand scheme of things. Right. So now that is going to be this week's Keto on the Couch. We really appreciate everybody for joining us. Now, don't forget, 
Wednesday, we will be doing a live stream at 6 p.m. right here, Eastern Time, with Bronson Dant to be go heading into week four I think of the No Joke Challenge. He's going to be on Challenge. the beach. He's going to be on the beach. So wow. hopefully this one goes smoothly. And then on Thursday, we will have our regular live stream at 8 30 p.m. Eastern Time, where we just have our shenanigans. Yes. And also, don't forget, head down below, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down there so that you can have a chance to win some Keto Chow. Absolutely. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out one of the other 109 Keto on the Couches, wow. which we're going to link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which we're going to put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click that little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.